Hi, Namaste. This is Ravi, your Master Teacher of Chemistry at Vedanta. Welcome to another very important session. So sometimes we do wonder, right? How do people excel in every field? So what do they do? So how are they different from me? So there is a saying that we all have, you know, similar type of brain. It's all about how we use it. So there is a book um, called, uh, you know, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. So there he tells about how do people excel, like, you know, how you have to be, be uh, productive or calm and everything. So in a similar way, so I want to tell you about seven habits of high performance students. So maybe if you inculcate these habits in your life, you also will excel. So you are doing great now, let me tell you that, but it is just to improve. So there is always room for the improvisation, right? Let's get started. So seven habits of high performing students. The first one is enter into a flow state. So what is this? You know, I, I don't know, I, I cannot uh, speak for others, but, but for me, once I start reading something I really like or watching a series, I get completely involved in that you know i want to finish it i just i'm just you know it's just a flu right i do not want to stop it so i do not know about the consequences i just want to continue reading or watching it that is what is a flu state so it is very important for you to get into or enter into that flu state you know, it's, I'm not talking about the books which you are reading or the series or the game. When we play, you know, we are completely into it, na? And we do not think about the time or am I hungry or am I sleepy? No, nothing comes to our mind. But only when we sit and study, when we are trying to study, we're like, okay, it's already five. Mm, should I play a game? Should I just step out and come back? See, because you are not in there yet. So it is very, very important to enter into a flow state. The second one is being productive, being proactive. It is very important. It's not like, okay, I'll just sometimes being, see, it's being productive. Um, it changes, I guess. So when you are asked to do something or when you have the certain responsibilities, it is very important to be proactive or being productive. But there are days it is completely fine not to be productive okay so there are days where i cannot i do not want to do anything i just want to you know sleep and then rest and that is not being lazy it's just that i'm resting and that is also fine but when you have a goal you are trying to reach being proactive or productive is very very important so what do you do in a day it's not only about sitting in the in your study table and reading maybe you know read biographies autobiographies or read you know how to be successful those kind of non-fiction books so it's all always about having that thirst for knowledge you know whatever you do the small things but you have to be learning something so that is what i can call a productive day or being proactive the third habit is learn from others so as i told you so you need to always look for an opportunity where you can learn things it's not always about marks children it's not always about marks so there are so many things beyond marks it's the knowledge it's um, to identify the beauty of a subject it's able to help others because you know something which the others doesn't and also always be open to it do not have that uh, mentality that Are, I I got first rank. I am better. I am the best here. I am very much better than whatever this guy is doing. No. So you can always learn from others. So even though I am a teacher and you are students, trust me, I try to learn things from all of you. That's it. So it is very, very, very important to learn from others. Keep that in your mind. So before I tell you about the four, five, six, seven habits, so if you want to take up the pro subscription, do not go anywhere else, visit the link and the pinned comment, you will find the link 
in the description and in the pinned comment so you can take up the pro subscription if you use the coupon code SURPRO you would be able to get additional discount once you are a pro subscriber you can attend unlimited live classes so tests and uh, tests will be conducted regularly you will get the performance report assignments will be shared with you after every session if you couldn't watch the uh, if you couldn't attend the session that's fine go watch the replay you can still play the quiz you can download the notes what else you want so along with that very very important uh, concept we have in class doubt solving where we will have class teachers and a master teacher who will make sure to solve all of your doubts instantly yes so uh, once you are a pro subscriber you can enroll into any micro course or crash course for free which are very helpful for the competitive exams or to score well in the board exam so more number the uh, number of classes you attend less of the price you need to pay but make sure to use the coupon code SURPR yes so the fourth habit is being showing gratitude being thankful for the things you have so sometimes we uh, even though comparison is a bad thing we end up comparing our lifestyle with others right so when I'm just scrolling down um, the, through the Instagram and I'm like oh look at that clothes can I afford it oh see the car Hana? so we do that we end up doing it so intentionally or unintentionally but it's all about what you have Hana? so please be thankful or show gratitude for what you have in each and every moment that is very very important you know sometimes it's very it might be a very little thing okay i have my friends with me so most of them you know even though they are very super rich they might not have people um, around them to console or to be there with them when they are going through something so always showing gratitude is very 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 important so i don't know you can write it somewhere and stick because this is very important i don't know it's not about high performance student or successful people you know any category of people you will always find this point because being thankful or showing gratitude is very important in life next is willing to sacrifice so there are people like okay i i um, i belong to this category I never sacrificed anything for uh, to reach my goal okay so and I don't think that's a good thing because I wanted to go out I wanted to have fun along with that and the same way I wanted to score well also so few can manage yes I agree but sometimes sacrifices are also very important so you might be disappointed you need to know that you have to pay the price for what you have done sometimes you must have uh, missed classes or anything so don't be lazy do not procrastinate and you should be ready to sacrifice the willingness to sacrifice for the greater things is very very important and it is one of the um, habit of the high performance students next is adopt a growth mindset so it is very very important to have this mindset where it's not only about okay I, I i didn't do it i cannot do it no so every day we grow you know sometimes there will be laybacks you might fail but having that growth mindset so i am gonna do whatever i can to reach where i want to be that mindset is super important and the last one is having goals you should know what you want so the, those people who are super successful in their life they always knew where they wanted to be what they wanted in their lives so having goals is very very important so since ninth grade i wanted to be a teacher i'm here now so maybe someday i might uh, dream of some some something else i will start working towards it hena so you have a clear destination so maybe you know even if if this is your destination so once you are clear about the destination you you will know to make pathways 
to reach that destination or you know if you have a goal so you will find those pathways to reach your goal so having a goal is very very important that this is another yet important habit of a super successful or a high performing student so these are the seven habits which we have uh, learned or um, you know have read about so if you find these helpful do let me know in the comment section so all the very best of course everyone will be successful in their life you know me if you in academic field or in you we all excel at one thing it is very important to know what you are good at you will realize it <clears throat> it will take some time but that's okay hang in there you are doing it well thank you so much for attending this session um do not forget to like the session subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends as well Thank you bye bye take care